Okay guys, we got a 2001 Toyota Tacoma 3.4 starter went out on it. So it, every time you try to start it, click, 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 click. So what we did to start it was we put it in neutral. We shoved it kind of fast for about 10 feet and we crammed it into park. And so what that did is it rotated the engine just a tiny bit which was just enough to line up a different gear on the starter and it ended up starting. So we know the issue is this gear right here on the starter. So let's get up underneath there and uh, find out what we need to do to pull that bad boy out. First thing we're gonna do is pull off a battery cable, which he already did. Um, just either one, it doesn't matter, just so it doesn't have a connection. And now we'll crawl up under there and see what we need to pull that. Okay, I'm gonna crawl up under there in just a second with him and show you what's going on. But essentially, we're gonna be pulling this bolt and this bolt. Those are both gonna be 14 millimeters. We're also gonna be disconnecting this positive wire that goes straight to the battery and this clip right here, which is your signal wire for your ignition. So let's get up under here and see how he's doing and where this is actually located. So I'm facing towards the front of the engine. He's using a long extension because it's much easier to get to. There's your starter. There's one of the bolts or the swivel. Is it hot? Yeah, the exhaust is hot. So you may want to let yours cool down a little bit before you pull it, but... Grab that second bolt. So the plan here is to just let the wires hang a little bit. Oh, that one's a pickle. Okay guys, so the two bolts there, you got the one out with the impact, but the second one, going to have to get up in there with a ratchet. It's just being a pickle, the, the impact is on too much of an incline. It goes, it goes up and then back in like that, and it just wouldn't do it. So, going to pull that one out with just a regular hand ratchet. Manual labor time. Okay, so we broke it loose with a wrench, now we're putting the impact back in there and just uh, pop it out. There's the second bolt. So now we can pull the starter back a little ways and we'll disconnect that positive wire and that signal wire. Not a whole lot of room on these little Toyotas. And see how that back of that starter is touching that, that bracket for, it looks like a motor mount. That's why you want to disconnect the battery because if that positive cable touches right there, that's going to arc pretty good. So he's got that pulled back. He's going to go grab that wrench and we'll get those wires off. Okay guys, we're actually going to go ahead and pull that bolt or that nut right there that holds the positive wire on first because it's going back and it's smacking the motor mount and it won't come up. So we're gonna pull that wire there so that the starter will go back and rotate up out of the way. And then we can disconnect that signal wire. So let me get that off. Okay guys, so I ended up having to pull this wire and then I squeezed this clip right here and pulled it out. When it came out, I moved it up twisted down and it fell right in between the lower control arm here so piece of cake all right we'll pop the other one in and see if we can get this thing started okay got that all put back together batteries hooked back up let's see what she's gonna do oh, get my hand off the camera that's it so I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.